to my channel. Whew, I thought I wasn't recording. Okay, so everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this week I've heard a few, um, well, I watch a few YouTube people and I've heard a lot of different specials that are going out at the moment. I've actually been keeping an eye out on the Priceline um, specials that are out right now because they're having the 30 day specials and stuff. Anyway, I decided that tonight I will be reviewing for you two things. It's first impressions. Um, what I will say is, oh, where is it? I'm not going to say, oh, oh no, where is it? I don't have my glasses on, so you can't, I'm the kind of person that goes, oh my gosh, I can't see anything, I can't see anything, where's this, where's this? And then I finally figured out that it's been in front of my face the whole time, which has just happened now. Um, so anyway, I'll go back to what I was saying. Um, I've heard a few people rave about a particular product which I decided to go ahead and run out and buy because it was on special and the one product that I'm talking about is um, the Garnier um, Micellar Cleansing Water which looks like this which looks like that it's a clear bottle with water in it um, apparently it was on, it's on special right now at um, Priceline, um, apparently it's for all skin types, it removes makeup, cleans and soothes and there's no rinsing and needed. It's for your thighs, your, uh, for your thighs, it's not for your thighs, it's for your face, your eyes, your lips and it's perfume free. It says it has 400 mils and you use 200 uses for it, okay. Um, everyone's been raving about this, um, so I decided to go buy it, normally apparently the price of this is $16, $17, something like that. Um, and so I bought this for about $9 something. Um, I've actually used Garnier before. I've actually loved um, this product called Garnier Clean Sensitive 2-in-1 Makeup Remover. It gently removes waterproof makeup, uh, per uh, no perfume, alcohol or rubbing, and, and it's suitable for sensitive skin. I've used it, as you can see, I've nearly used the whole bottle. It has two different liquids. It has a blue liquid and a clear liquid. Um, to use it, you need to shake it up to mix it up together and then use it. I've been using this. I absolutely love it. So when I started seeing people talking about this, I decided to run off and buy that just to try it out. Um, but I know for a fact that I love this one. It works wonders for me. I've never had any breakouts with it. I've never had any itchiness or anything with that. Um, and but whilst I was there, I actually got confused and I wasn't sure which one to buy because I have really dry skin. Well, I have dry patches, especially just like up here and around my nose in my T-zone. I think this is called the T-zone. I do, I have a lot of dry dryness, but that's only because of my eczema. I have some eczema. Uh, anyway, um, I saw something else which I decided to buy as well because it ended up being $16 altogether. Which was the garden, which is also from Garnier, which is a gentle cleansing milk, and it um, says goodbye to dry, removes makeup and softens skin. It says it's only for your eyes and for your face. It has apparently softening cherry and purifying moringa extracts. So this is for your dry skin. There's, it's paraben free and it's suitable for skin sensitive skin. So I'm going to try this as well. Apparently, you with this one. Oh, it smells nice. Um, with this one, you just um, put it on your face, kind of like massage it on, and then you get tissues and you wipe it all off. Um, so I've decided I'm going to try both of them out at the same time, one on one side and one on the other side, um, and let you know what I feel, what I think, what it feels like, what's more, what's better for people with kind of like dry skin if this one works really well or if it's okay to use this one I just thought might as well seeing that this one's originally $16, $17 anyway to begin with both together for 16 is pretty good so I'm pretending that I bought yeah that one only <laughs> so it's kind of like I bought that and got that one for free so um, I'm, you, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna run back um, really quickly I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a hair tie and I'll continue filming in a second Okay everyone, I'm back with my hair up, um, next to the camera, so I'm going to be kind of like over this side, um, I've got 
uh, little mirror I'm actually using. Um, I'm actually using my Too Faced um, Soleil Milk Chocolate um, Bronzer Mirror. I'm using that. Um, what I'm using today is just the From Price Line 100 pack round cotton pads. So what I'll do is because the directions of the Milk Cherry one, it says... Oh, but I'm, well, actually, it says here to use a cotton pad soaked with a cleansing milk. Gently wipe makeup from your face, eyes, and neck. But I actually got told to put some on my face and then use the pad to take it off. Um, so what am I going to do? Use the pad. I'm going to use the pad. Oh, I didn't understand why I just put the pad. Do you, do you guys ever do that? You have something that you want to use and then you put it away and then when you try it, and then you go, oh, hang on, why did I put it away? I needed to use them. Okay, so let's start with you. So this side of my face, I'm going to use the gentle cleansing milk. And the other side, I'm going to do the Garnier one. Um, just in case you guys have seen, I actually do have some swatches that I've put on my hand. And that's for um, a different video that I've done, which I'll put down on the link below. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm putting up first, if I'll put the review of some lipsticks up first or if I'll put this one up first. Do you guys like my eyes? I really like my eyes, how I did my eyes. Even my partner loves my eyes, how I did them. Um, if you like my eyes, um, then leave a comment and I'll give a tutorial on how I did it and what products I used. Okay, so let's start off. So let's put, I'm just going to put a little blob on, like that. Um, I'm actually going to use two pads and mix them like that, pat them together. I hope I've got enough on. What does it mean by soaking? I don't know. Let's, maybe I need some more, yeah, I need some more. So let's see how this goes. I'm taking this off. So I'm taking off my eyebrow. Mm. Itchy nose. I hate it when you get itchy noses. So, taking this much off, that's what the pad looks like. So let's go to the other pad. I'm really scared of trying to get off the stuff off my eyes, actually. Okay, I'm just, I guess I'm just scared only because I'm scared of it irritating my eye, but let's, let's go ahead. Let's, I have to eventually do it, so let's do it. I've been told by other people Instead of wiping off your eye makeup, which actually apparently hurts your eyes and stuff, to just tap it like that. Let it soak there for a little bit. And just give it one wipe. Hmm. It's pretty good. Wow, that's a lot. So I'm gonna do the back of it now. Put some on the back. So the, it actually has a pinky colour to it. Why am I singing a song like that? I better not sing something like that because I'll get in trouble by copyright laws. Yeah. 
say that fast forwarding this part. Normally I have Q-tips with me, um, but unfortunately I've run out of them and I've forgotten to go buy some more. So normally I would actually use the Q-tip to take off all of my eyeliner. All right, on this half, I'm actually gonna do what the lady told me to do, and that was just actually put the product straight onto my face. My God, Robert! And see, this is actually um, easier to do to take off the makeup. Make sure you get your ear, and make sure you get half um, your face down here. remember people I'm just doing half um, it actually does say um, it's not for your well it doesn't say it's not for your face it just says um, sorry your lips it, it just says eyes and face but can can you kind of uh, sum it we're gonna pretend it's okay to put it on lips as well let's put it on our lips okay it actually does feel really nice, this one. So I'm getting some more. It actually feels like I'm putting on a moisturizer, but with a pad, if that makes sense. gonna wet this one just make sure that all of it's off so there you go that feels that actually feels really really nice um, it does feel moisturized I actually like it it doesn't feel sticky at all so what do you guys think what do you guys think of that I actually like this one so far because it feels really it felt like as if I was putting on a moisturizer but I wasn't if that makes sense you know what I should have that as my theme or my, my um not my theme, but my um, catchphrase. What do you reckon? Okay, anyway, so that's the first one. So this is um, taking off um, with a cleansing milk. It doesn't say it's for your lips, so it didn't really... It took some of the lip off, but not all of it. So I'll see how the other side goes. Do, do, do. Where do I leave them? Oh, they fell down. So, this one's the same. So you grab it. I don't know if you're meant to shake it, but I'm shaking it anyway just in case. The good thing is you don't have to rinse it out. There's no, you know, water going everywhere. So I've saturated it, like it's told what well, as it told me. Um, as I said before, no, I won't do it this time. I'll do this. At the moment, it feels like I'm just using a um, um, a little a pad, a little cotton pad with water. Ooh. I think actually might like this better. I'll show you in a second why. 
feel like this is a lot easier. Ow. Ow. Quick. Try one. Sorry, I, I had too much product in there. And it went into my eye. It kind of squeezed down onto my eye. Owie. Anyway. I guess that's a, one of the problems with the water one. Is if you have too much on. It will end up um, squeezing the product. The water into your eyes. So. Actually. I even though it's nice, I'm not liking it, only because if you have too much, it'll um, go into your eye, it will like squeeze out, um, whilst the other one was a cream, so it wouldn't, it doesn't, does that make sense? Um, and if you don't put enough water on, it feels really dry and it hurts. hurts only because it dries out and as it dries out it hurts because I'm rubbing I'm not rubbing that much I may actually not like this product it, it is taking off the makeup but and as you all saw I had exactly the same makeup on all my face um, so it's not me um, putting any other weird or stronger waterproof stuff on the other side. That was all the same. It was all the same products. Um, so I'm just going to squirt a little bit on. So I'm using a new pad. I'll show you what I mean. So I put just a little bit on, right, and it, see, I hope you saw that, water, it comes, and so it goes into your orifices, like your nose, it went up my nose before, I feel like I would waste a lot of what, a lot of it, or a lot of this product, because I'd be putting it on um, the pad and then squeezing out the excess, which I don't want to do. Like that, that to me is wasting product. So no, enjoy, I'm not. Uh, it, like don't get me wrong, I am liking how it's taking off the makeup, but um, I think it's a lot more difficult to use than using just the um. See, I've just put on a little bit, and again, I need to squeeze it out. Because if I don't, it will go everywhere. I don't... I'm liking it. Like, it's good for taking off makeup, but... I don't like that I'm going to end up wasting a lot more of it than the cream so it, as I said it is taking off the makeup that's what we want but I don't know and now there's going to be one more um, one more pattern one more cotton pattern I'm going to use that's for my lips got it in my mouth, some of the liquid. Ugh. So. There we go. So, it 
does take off um, the lips more than the cream but this side hurts now because I did rub a lot more um, I feel like I'm dry it's drying my lips out rather than moisturizing like this feels a lot more moisturized um, this fa this side feels refreshed as if I have just washed my face uh, but if, it's not sticky but you know when you wash your face once you have a shower etc if you don't put moisturizer it feels kind of co not coarse but like it needs moisturizer oh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for dry it feels dry <laughs> whilst this side feels as if I've already put on moisturizer on so I don't know I know everyone is raving about the water um, for emergencies and when I don't have makeup remover that'd be actually pretty good but I don't like it because it is a liquid it does go into my mouth it goes into my nose it goes everywhere um, so I would actually read by um, buy this one again I reckon it's a lot better than this one um, only because it is a cream and it moisturizes I feel like it did moisturize my face and left it a lot nicer I didn't have to scrub unfortunately I can't use it on my lips but in saying that it's not designed to take off your makeup lips it's more for your face and your eyes so it's up to you guys everyone's different um, so if you guys want to try both of them go ahead and try both of them because this one may end up being a lot better for you than the cream um, but in reality I like I like this one a lot more it's a lot smoother a lot nicer Alright everyone, thank you for watching, have a lovely evening, enjoy whatever you're doing, your week, whatever, um, and I'll see you guys next time, and thank you for watching for my channel, bye bye!